nine one seventeen twenty. No matter what, I will be forever. Welcome to our stage, please, Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's the challenger to Sergio Oliva. With a three-time Mr. Olympia, he's going to the win. Schwarzenegger's golden era of bodybuilding. Picture this, it's the golden era of bodybuilding and in the midst of a pump up muscles and flex biceps, one name stands out like a mountain among hills, Arnold Schwarzenegger. This isn't just about bulging muscles, it's about a journey that became the stuff of legends. Arnold didn't just lift weights, he lifted the entire sport of bodybuilding onto a new level. Before he became the Terminator or the Governator, he was a force to be reconned with on the bodybuilding stage. I don't have any weak points. 9, 1, 17, 20, no matter what, I will be forever. His journey wasn't just about lifting iron. It was about lifting the sport from the shadows into the limelight. From the pumping gyms of Austria to the dazzling lights of Hollywood, Arnold's story is the epitome of the American dream with a global twist. He wasn't just a standout figure in bodybuilding, he was the figure, the icon of an era where muscles were not just a physical attribute but a symbol of dedication and success. As Arnold flexed his way through competitions, the world took notice. But it wasn't just about the trophies, it was about the transition. The moment Arnold shifted gears into Hollywood, bodybuilding followed suit. The impact was seismic. Suddenly, the sport wasn't confined to sweaty gyms and obscure competitions. It was on the silver screen. Arnold's success story became the sport's success story. His legacy is more than a collection of trophies. It's a narrative etched in the annals of bodybuilding history. The golden era wasn't just a phase, it was the era of Schwarzenegger. His influence echoes not just in the gym, but in the very fabric of entertainment. The bodybuilder became the blockbuster, and Arnold Schwarzenegger's impact on the golden era of bodybuilding is the kind of tale that legends are made of. Sweat, iron, and a dash of stardust. Sergio Oliva the unbeatable force. Let's dive into the realm of bodybuilding legends and at the center stage is none other than Sergio Oliva, aptly nicknamed The Myth. Picture this, the late 1960s, the era of chiseled physique and fierce competition and there's Oliva, an unbeatable force that left the bodybuilding world in awe. Oliva's physique wasn't just impressive, it was a masterpiece sculpted by the gods of genetics. From 1967 to 1969, he wasn't just winning Mr. Olympia competitions, he was dominating them with a swagger that defined an era. His proportions were nothing short of a sculptor's dream. Each muscle grew perfectly balanced, creating a symphony of strength and aesthetics. What sets Oliva apart wasn't just his wins, it was the unique combination of attributes that made him the Michelangelo of bodybuilding. His physique wasn't just muscular, it was a work of art. The sheer mass and size of his muscles were on a different plane, intimidating for most and downright jaw-dropping for anyone lucky enough to witness him on stage. Now let's talk about those Mr. Olympia victories. 1, 2, 3. Oliva clinched the title consecutively, beating out the competition and etching his name in bodybuilding history. He wasn't just a winner, he was the benchmark, the gold standard that made other bodybuilders re-evaluate their game. But here's a twist, it wasn't just about the competitions, it was about the genetic lottery that Oliva seemed to have won effortlessly. His proportions were the stuff of dreams, with a waist so tiny you'd think it was photoshopped, 
biceps that defied logic, and a chest that could probably eclipse the sun. The Legendary Battle – Arnold vs. Sergio Alright, buckle up, because we're about to dive into the heavyweight clash of bodybuilding titans. The legendary battle between Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sergio Oliva. This ain't your regular showdown, it's the stuff that bodybuilding dreams are made of. Picture it, 1969, the Mr. Olympia stage is set, and in one corner, you've got Arnold, the Austrian oak with biceps that could make Hercules jealous. In the other corner stands Sergio Oliva, the myth, a walking picture of genetic perfection. The clash of these titans wasn't just about flexing muscles, it was a coalition of two different bodybuilding philosophies. Now let's talk about measurements. Arnold boasted a waistline that was practically a sculpted hourglass, measuring in at 30 inches. His arms and chest, a whopping 22 inches and 57 inches respectively. Impressive, right? Well, enter Sergio Oliva, the man with a genetic trump card. Oliva's waist, a jaw-dropping 27 inches, making Arnold's look like a hiccup. His biceps, a mind-bending 22.5 inches, and a chest, almost 60 inches of sheer dominance. The 1969 Mr. Olympia competition was the stage for this clash of the titans. Arnold Schwarzenegger. And the winner, the challenger coming into this competition. The tension in the air was palpable as Arnold and Oliva faced off, muscles flexed, and the audience held their breath. The result, Oliva emerged victorious, marking a pivotal moment in the bodybuilding history. The Austrian oak had met his match and the myth had become a living legend. This battle wasn't just about who had the bigger muscles. It was a clash of bodybuilding ideologies. Arnold took the defeat on the chin, turning it into fuel for his relentless pursuit of greatness. The 1969 showdown wasn't just a competition, it was a spectacle that etched itself into the lore of bodybuilding. A moment where the unstoppable force met the immovable object and the outcome shaped the destiny of two legends. Sergio Oliva's genetic superiority now let's dissect what made Sergio Oliva not just a bodybuilder, but a genetic marvel that rewrote the rule book of the sport. We're talking about the nitty gritty of his physique, those details that turned him into the Michelangelo of bodybuilding. First things first, let's talk waistlines. Arnold Schwarzenegger might have had a sculpted 30 inch waist, but Oliva, oh boy, he took it to another level with a mind boggling 27 inches. That's not a waste, that's a genetic blessing. It's as if his body was sculpted by the gods themselves to defy the conventional standards of bodybuilding. Now let's move on to the guns, the biceps. Arnold's 22 inches biceps were no joke, but Oliva's were the stuff of legends, measuring in at an eye-watering 22.5 inches. It's like comparing cannons to battleships. Oliva's arms were a force to be reconned with, a testament to the genetic superiority that set him apart. But we're not done yet. Let's talk about the chest, the grand stage where bodybuilders showcase their power. I win them all, lose one, it doesn't mean anything. Contestant number one, Sergio Oliva. He's the challenger to Sergio Oliva. Arnold's 57-inch chest was imposing, but Oliva's almost 60 inches. That's not just a chest, it's a statement. Oliva's proportions were a symphony of muscle, each inch in note in the masterpiece that was his physique. Now here's where it gets even more fascinating. Oliva didn't just have these genetic advantages, he flaunted them on the grandest stage, the Mr. Olympia competition. Consecutive wins from 1967 to 1969 solidified his status as the undisputed champion, a legend in the making. It wasn't just about the victories, it was about redefining what it meant to be a bodybuilder. Sergio Oliva wasn't just a competitor, he was a game-changer. 
His genetic gifts didn't just break the mold, they shattered it, paving the way for a new era of bodybuilding standards. In the tapestry of bodybuilding history, Oliva's legacy is woven with the threads of genetic superiority, rewriting the narrative of what it means to be a true legend in the sport. Arnold Schwarzenegger's Resilience Now let's talk about the comeback kid of bodybuilding, the one and only Arnold Schwarzenegger. Imagine the scene, the dust settling from his defeat against Sergio Oliva, the whispers in the gym echoing the news, but Arnold, he didn't let it break him. Instead, he turned that defeat into the fuel for a roaring comeback that would resonate through the halls of bodybuilding history. After that setback in the 1969 Mr. Olympia, Arnold didn't throw in the towel, he used it to wipe the sweat off and get back to the grind. The 1970 IFBB Pro Mr. Olympia became his redemption stage and boy, did he make it count. Schwarzenegger emerged victorious, showcasing a physique that wasn't just rebuilt, it was refined, sculpted with a determination born out of defeat. But here's where it gets truly legendary. Arnold didn't just stop at one triumph, no no. He went on a spree that left the bodybuilding world in awe. From 1971 to 1975, he clenched the Mr. Olympia title in an unprecedented streak of victories. Seven times he stood atop that stage, a testament to not just his physical prowess, but the mental fortitude that defines a true champion. His resilience wasn't just a response to defeat, it was a statement. Arnold didn't become a legend by avoiding challenges, he became one by facing them head on. The setbacks were just detours on the road to greatness. Each defeat was a lesson, and Arnold was a diligent student of the iron game. That's all for this video folks, see you next time.